be talking to someone that I know that I'm not going to date you. Put the man that's spending time talking to, to me. I would do I mean, who goes behind me time spending time? You know, so I, have I, have I have a bad habit. If I don't like you, you don't text. That's just it. Actually. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mwipi Chidima. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Here we talk about faith, lifestyle, and health domains. So today I have two different personalities in the house. So my friends, so introduce yourself. Oh, my name is Gibbs. Gibbs, okay. And, you're... and my name is Ibi Fibara. That's I I I'm sure. So it's all about talking stages. I, I think this, this year, when did I start talking stages? I think it's stage them first. Maybe last month. Yeah. What about you? I've been here talking since. <laughs> so I think I I said hey, we said especially on Twitter. Saying talking still I was wondering I only knew of uh dating and courtship. But talking still have entered the new it's part of the league now. It's the from talking stage you go to dating, then you go to courtship. Now I question actually what's the meaning of talking stage and how many talking stages you want to enter to find the one? Um, is that a question for me? It's for everybody. <laughs> yeah, I think it keeps you. Can, you can start first. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Everybody has different definition of talking stage, though. But I feel like, based on my own aspect and the way I've like, observed it, I feel talking stage is like that particular stage where you are with somebody, you both like each other, but you've not said, I like you. And the person hasn't said, I like you too. So you guys are just like going on about it. Asking how do your day go? I've been eating. Did you sleep well? Good morning, my love. Ah, good morning, my love. And I was like, good morning, dear. Or like, you know, just kind of talking and going on and going on. I know the funniest thing about it is the fact that the both of you actually know that the both of you like each other. Yeah, but you've not said I like you and or I love you and I love you to get to that point where you think it's time for a relationship. Mm -hmm. So that's why I feel talking stage oh, okay. okay, okay, maybe we'll take the first question before we get to mm, let's how many talking yeah, stages Let's just break down the first question. Okay, still so talking about talking stage, maybe just to add to what she said, I feel is the period of time where you're just getting acquainted with this this person, you know, you, you met a person, you liked the person, but then the relationship is not yet defined. Yeah. That's the word, yes. It's not undefined. undefined. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's more like an undefined relationship. And please don't get it twisted. It's actually not a situation. One might ask, what's the difference between the situation and the talking stage? We'll get to that. Yeah, we'll get to that. But it's just like getting acquainted with the person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, just like she said, how did your day go? Have you eaten? Have you done this? Have you done that? You guys but don't really know you what to do. We're actually talking based on Christian perspective. Because if let's not go into because people have already changed the word talking stage to another thing. For me, like I'll get there, don't worry. <laughs> but for me, like I feel like talking stage is that stage in between okay, I I like you you are being introduced to me, so we get talking, like you said, get to know each other, be eating well. So you can actually last from like days to actually months. People actually go on talking stage for years. Ah <laughs> <That's bad. laughs> Like they just keep on following each other, you know, but they're not saying I like you alone. Mm -hmm. But the point is they know that there's something between them. And they're trying to do most things like the couples do. No, sometimes they don't do. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes. But people have actually changed this talking stage context now. Yeah, I, like, I get you. People have already changed it. Like right now, okay, now you're getting to know each other better. So why are we not having sex? Um, I think everybody has sex. Yeah. People not everybody, people but like you have people sex. People who are not connection. Yeah. talking stage or yeah, whatever. Yeah, like, it's just me so one random girl. Like, wow, this girl is beautiful. I think I should look good and we have that in it. So, so like, I don't think talking stage is not really a wife. She's not having sex. Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. Two neighbors actually do have sex. Hmm. What has changed? Yeah. Right. Things has changed. Now, okay. I feel like dating is really complicated already. Like this is this is it's already complicated already. Then that my are talking stages. Yeah, human beings are complicated. Mm. That's just the funniest thing. Like they don't like to do things the simple way. They love dating. So as if you won't know that you want to, okay, I feel like because me, I'm kind of person. I was in talking stages before. <laughs> Let me say talking stages. Not like, like I was like talking to like about three or four persons then at the same time. 
and it was draining. Like because I have to pick this one call, pick this one call, pick this one call. And I wonder how people actually go for talking stages for years and months. Okay, me, I could it was easier for me to just say, okay, since I'm not talking about things, always talking to each other every time, always making calls, but still yet you're not you're not even dating. I feel like people now, this Gen Z, are actually scared of committing. That's it, scared of committing. I don't know that. <laughs> we actually, I feel like this Gen Z, we're actually scared of committing. So we just tend to just do everything and not define. And someone tell me, I've been talking to this guy for, for months. If I've been talking, we know our know where we stay. We only still talking, then we're not going to marry somebody else or date somebody else. I don't know. I think, based on my own perspective or my dealing with people, I think there's something we don't understand as human beings. We tend to think for the other person. And that's like what is affecting everybody right now. Most people don't like focusing on commitment because they feel at the end of the day it's like a losing game. Mm. If I get commitment, like committed to you, it's possible that you will not be committed to me. And that's like a very wrong perspective because you're thinking for the person. Everybody wants somebody who is loyal, wants somebody who is committed to them, but they are not ready to be committed yet. And they think it's like a very difficult something. But then it's something that takes discipline and a set mind. Like you just have to set your mind to either oh, I want to be committed to this person. And you just have to like just discipline to back it up. But that's the problem now. They feel like Oh, if I get committed, this one there's nobody out there that is committed. So why should I be committed to this person? Right. Everybody just wants to be going through. What they're starting to gain. Yes, and you know, most I think the most reason behind not being loyal to somebody is lack of discipline. Mm-hmm. Because you feel like if I try this one, how is this person with this fine body physique pass me now, and I'm meant to resist this person? No, I can't. I can't. I won't. And then you don't have discipline, so you fall for it. So. Yeah, I think that's the problem. Everybody just like, people just lack discipline, so they don't get committed. So, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um, what you to say? Wow. You know, right from the time I always say this talking stage and whatever it is, it's really not for me because I just don't like it. I know you ask me why. It's draining. Yeah, it's very it's just thing. It is like, you're like just talking to someone. For like, months, talking about talking. I will ask you out there. I will ask you out And then, you out. And then okay. you just hear out of the place that the person has, you know, probably uh, just proposed to someone. Like, maybe that's going too far. Ask someone else. Ah, okay. be like, so what have we been doing all this for? For months. I think I think what that we've been doing. Actually, no, that's the problem. If yeah. I actually meet a guy yeah. or somebody, and I'm talking with the person, we've been going months like talking stage. And out of the blues, I'm here your date, you you decided to start dating somebody else. You just did a fool out of me because it means because I was the one in talking stage, not you. I was in talking stage with myself. Because actually the aim of talking stage for me, well I I, I feel like that is the context. Because before when, like in our parents' area, oh god. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> in our parents' <laughs> In our parents' era, right? Yeah. I feel, I feel like that, that time you just see one girl going to a farm and you just fall in love with that person. And then you just you guys just marry, even that love. And your marriage sustains. Like you, you see them getting like it's waiting 30 to 40 years anniversary. And I'm not wondering all that go to the process of meeting someone new, go to the process of talking stages, go to the process of dating, courtship. And very sisters, our marriage is not last. Now, let me let me cut you short on that. Our parents' marriage did not last only because maybe they met one random lady going to farm or maybe going to fetch water or something. No, my mom always tell me that. For them, they think that any relationship that has to work, one person has to take all the shit, like take all the nonsense in the relationship. So in their case, it was more like once you're married, you, you're, like your parents literally tell you that once you leave, once you leave this house, going to your husband's house, just know you're not coming back. Maybe I'm going not coming yeah, back. Yeah, it's just like a life sentence. So they've taken it that no matter what happens, mm-hmm. it's not. It's not like they don't have to. Too big and thin. Yes, they must be there. So the only thing they do is maybe they just modify ways of you know trying to that. yes get over the issue or something. Or maybe then, uh, and I feel like I feel like. Why, why we feel, why we um, fast my life easily now these days because of divorce and option? Yeah, we, we see that there's an option. 
No, no. Okay. The other is that I can't I can't come and kill myself and stuff yeah. like that. But two friends too. I feel like why most people want to go over the stocking stage is that let's let's agree on one thing. Our we might actually have parents who said to stay for like long years mm. together. But we saw a lot of faults in their marriage. True. True. Yes. And then we grew up in this mindset that I don't want to have that kind of fault in my own marriage. I don't want to fall for the same mistakes. Mm. But then we have found that you say your, your mother's daughter and your father's son. <laughs> there are some yeah. things that there are some traits to still pick from from them. And again, you know, we, we try to find a means of wanting to like avoid all those unnecessary stuff, issues. Everybody's dreaming of a happy ending kind of marriage and then we tend to create a talking stage where we get to know this person better. Okay, that was the main aim of talking stage. Yeah, I want to get to know you better. I want to know you, your you life. Date you, yeah, right? yeah, if I can date you, if I can accommodate you and everything. But then we, we tend to like, like talk about our own selves. We tend to like address issues that concern us. We tend to forget improving our, our own self. We, we are just like more concerned on the person, what the person is after, how the person is and all. We tend to like look at things that are not right based on our own issue and that like affects everything about it. So then we go into the relationship and then we are doing a new love with everybody deceiving themselves. <laughs> we are trying not That's to fuck up. Yeah. yeah. We are trying not to like mess the whole thing up. So we are like Oh, I'm trying. Let me like package my own self well, and then the other person is packaging their like themselves too, and we are both packaging each other, and then we are like okay, talking. Yes, and we get into the marriage. We forgot that we have our own errors, we have our own issues, we have our own attitudes that are not accommodating at all. So then we get into this marriage, and then nobody wants to take the shit out. They saw our parents taking. Yeah, that we don't one year. Not only that, we don't know our rights. Yes, we don't want. We don't want to choose happiness over yeah. everything. Yes. yes, and I, that's the thing I'm saying. Our parents too. They had this long term marriages, and I sometimes I wish they had done some things right because it would have, and actually it would have affected a lot of things for us in the future because we now we, we don't we saw the way we're taking it. And we were like, oh, me, I can't take this. I not take this. Yes, yeah. now we're not in that position, and we've already had the mentality that we're never going to take issues. We're not going to take shit. So now we come into the marriage, and then we don't want to take it. So we're, we're like, yes, I'm out. I'm out. I don't want to die here. And we forget that we also have personal works to, to do on ourselves. Okay, so to move on to the next question, how many talking stage should one enter for the final one? Let me talk about that. Sorry, let me just watch it short. Now. I feel like, right, from talking stage, you know that our, our generation these days, we create, we crave for attention and then love and care. Just want to be loved, found by that, and be taken care of. <laughs> so, now, in the sense that you see that this person, like, you are talking to this person, I'm talking to you right now, we're going to do one, two dates. But the first date, I don't want to give my story, say, but on the first date, you should know that I can't move on with this person that but i feel like most people you go you see that this person you see one red flag that like, you see red flag say no more but you see say maybe you just uh, the first impression let me just just take away that first impression let me just go to the next day you, from there you not before you know you're spending more time with this person you know that in your mind you know that this thing can't work but you are still doing it that's right from the next day, like from, as a first day, you should always know that, okay, can I date this? Is this person my type physically? Is this my type emotional? Is this my type spiritual? Is this my type financial? Like, this one call I want in a man. Then I can do if I can continue talking stay with you. I feel like, in a week, you should know that, if you should, even a week is too much, you should know that I can move on with this person or not. So instead of you to now start entering, before you now start getting serious into talking stage, from like, first day, you should know that, okay, the person, I can't, and, and remember, I don't, the only time I tried to call off, like I thought the person didn't talk for that. I thought the person that don't think I'll be too just on the first date. And I didn't end up on stage with that person because I was able to state and use and let my no be no. Okay, so in a nutshell now, I think the question says how many stalking stages are we supposed to enter before we find one? Or so how we, many dates are we No, 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 no stage. Let's say stages. talking stage. So with your your analysis now, mm-hmm. how many talking stages? Or are you of the opinion that there will be no talking stage at all, provided you know that okay, I can't do this with this person? I'm saying so it, it can't be avoidable. Yeah, it can be avoidable. I don't know for yes. your explanation. I feel like 
one date she didn't take you to know about a person. It takes a year for you to know something. I don't. I'm, I'm, I don't have the time to take years. No, 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 no. no. See, like I know that she's she, like. She, I mean, oh, okay, oh, so Let me tell you something. I have a mentality. I have this mindset that states that it's my happiness you get, and it's my life. So I don't care how long it takes me to find something that I I I value. Like it doesn't take me. Like I don't care how long it takes me to find that thing I value. So I can spend my whole life as far as I know that. I'm not going to like create something that is going to affect the future. I'm going to, and I think very, very, very important about my future. Like most, in this generation, like most, I'm going to like the next generation. I'm going to create. I'm always concerned about them. I don't want to make a mistake where it will, it's like my actions will affect them. Yeah. But then, based on the kind of person I am, a very psychological kind of person, I feel like the first day them. So many things happen in the first dates, yes. You get to meet people, yeah. you get to like talk about it. There's some people that they're not open on. Like first dates, they, they're not open. They might that oh, I will use this word fuck up. They tend to fuck up on the first date, but doesn't mean that they'll fuck up on the second and the third. <laughs>
So then he goes to the couple in the end the discussion. Okay, yeah. Still talking about talking okay, stages. How many talking stages? Like I said from the start, if you remember. I don't think I want to even do any talking stage. If I like, feel the moment I see you, the moment I go out on a date with you, just talking to me, I'll be like, ah, this guy is it no for me or ah, it's gonna be a very big yes. You know, I think I see potential to this guy. I think we can move to the next stage from here. So for me, I don't really need to go to a yes, talking stage. Like you said, you see the guy that determines if you're meant to stay in a talking stage or not. Actually, because if guy, you like somebody, and the guy is texting. He will keep on texting the person because oh, he likes. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have yeah. And then okay. now the guy is okay. Are you asking me out or I should just go and cry in my room? I mean, I've already chopped my own heart to break like this. I'm not. We can't go for that. Too many people. It's just breakfast. It's just breakfast. Yeah, every breakfast. Every, yes. breakfast. every yes. morning, yes. afternoon, yes. night. Only you breakfast. Still. Yes. So for my own thoughts, right? You should. You will know from this thing. Like I said, who they did. You have that spirit of discernment. You will know from these things. You will know if you can go with this person. And me, I don't have time. I'm not. I don't have like. I can't be. I can't be talking to someone that I know that I'm not going to date you. Put the one spending time talking to, to me. I, I mean, we're we still going to be spending time spending. You know, so I have a bad. You know, I have a bad habit. If I don't like you, we don't text. That's just actually. I like that. Like 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 setting boundaries. Yes. Like, 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 like somebody. Was it two days ago? Person was saying, okay, what? Want to let us be friends? Be friends. I just said, person, I don't have that time of being friends. Not with me, I don't with the brother. I don't have that strength because I know what. Anyone still, you know, anything you know, anything you do. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I don't know. I will not. I will not say I can't. Is I can't be a shipwreck. Ship. I'll be angry with you. You'll not be angry that I wasted your time. Why are you supposed to wasted each other time? I don't so, actually. I don't create space for that. So thank you. So if you know that you can't actually. Date this person. Yeah, don't so don't don't so let's talking stage. Don't don't okay. just go into it. Have you eaten? Oh yeah. I've ate rice. Yeah. How, how was it garnished? How was the rice garnished? Yeah. Yeah. Fried we fried. We fried. We cooked. Cool. We roasted. Cool. Yeah. And your head is so, This guy really cares. Until nothing. He doesn't care any nothing. She so bang. in summary, <laughs> just you don't need to go into talking stage with somebody if you know you haven't dated that person. Don't waste your time, sister. Use yeah. your time to. Improve yourself in other yes. things. It's a time to actually improve. It's a time to study. It's a time to improve yourself. Then they come. Friends only, Keeping friends are not bad. That's not bad. If you want that's to be the friend. That's only that person wants to be friends. Yes. Yeah. Some persons, if they, they don't date you, then they want. They don't want to have anything to do with you. Like that. Then I see a lot of they things. Don't that Sorry for another day. So thank you for listening to this video. So make sure you actually put your own opinions in the comment section. Let us know how many talking stage you should end and let us yeah. know your own story. Experience. And if you want us to do more topics of relationship, just make sure you just tell us the topic we want to talk about and we're going to talk about it. So until next time, bye! bye.